Hey everybody, I'm Random Frank P. Welcome back to episode 16 now of Room Tour Project, the series where I show off the best battle stations and gaming setups. Special guest is going to be Zach from Zach Cox TV. If you like GTA 5 videos, he's definitely got you covered. He's got a whole page full of them. He's going to be showing off his battle station and all the stuff behind the scenes which powers his YouTube channel. It's going to be a good time. And like always, we've got some really awesome battle stations to show off for you guys. Some crazy cool ones this time around. So hope you guys enjoy. Let's kick off episode 16. Starting off strong now, this setup was from a guy who works for a home automation company and one of his clients came to him with this request. They wanted to have this really awesome setup. As you can see, those are three 50-inch Sony TVs all connected to this one sort of hub and panel where all of their games and stuff are. That is it over there on your left-hand side. It is really awesome. It's like pretty much a giant server for all these consoles. Uh, you can see he mapped it out really nicely. Uh, all the cables are virtually non-existent behind the wall. I'm loving this. And 350-inch TVs is absolutely insane. Got the LED lights to make it pop and look really nice. Here's a little look inside the server there. Um, yes, green lights, blue lights. This makes it look really cool. And inside he's got three Xbox Ones, two Xbox 360s, and more entertainment stuff. And it is all controlled by the 7-inch little touchscreen that is built in the wall. So very awesome. Now every now and then we'll come across one of these mind-blowing setups that just redefines what a gaming room should be. And this guy has it all. I am loving it. An entire huge bookshelf full of little gaming action figures and board games. He even has a dual battle station set up here for who knows him and his girlfriend or him and his roommates. Either way, everything is awesome. You can't ignore that life-size Destiny figure in the corner of the room. He's got his own mini arcade pretty much going on. But those, look at that gaming bookshelf. I, I just love this guy's room. You've got the pool table and even his home, a uh, little home theater here where you can game or you know watch movies on. But this guy does not mess around. He doesn't mess around with the cosplay. Look at that Destiny cosplay and that Halo ODST cosplay. This guy is awesome. This might be one of the most clean and simple setups we've ever had on the channel. I'm loving the black and white and wireless theme he's got going on. That is a Dell S234 OL monitor on a Silverstone MR01 riser. Got the little IKEA lamp too. I just really like the way everything is tied together here. In the corner he has like a little gadget desk. He's got the Sennheiser RS185 wireless headphones. An Asus UX31A laptop that's powering his whole setup. Uh, the Synology hard drive station is LG G3 and wireless charging stuff. Overall, it's just really nice and organized. And this is actually a modded DOS keyboard that he completely modded himself to make completely wireless. Um, big props for that. Got the Razer Mamba wireless mouse there. And it's an overall bonus shot with some speakers. I love this. There's a lot of stuff going on in this setup, but I really like it as a nice personalized homey feel to it. Um, the desk is made out of three different IKEA components. The left monitor is an Asus PB238Q, uh, and the right monitor is a Dell S2009W monitor, surrounded by Insignia bookshelf speakers with the Lempi LP2020A Plus amp in the middle. Inside his PC, which he calls Felix, you got the AMD Athlon X4750K, an NVIDIA GeForce GTX 650Ti, and 8 gigs of Corsair Vengeance RAM. Uh, he's got the Asus ZenBook UX305 here with some Audio-Technica headphones. The peripherals going on with the Myonix Nio 7000 that he got from Mass Drop with a nice Steel Series uh, mouse pad there. And the Logitech G710 Plus with Cherry MX uh, color changers, which he also got from Mass Drop. Didn't know he could do that. Pretty cool. A little LED light changer on the side of his keyboard. Some ink and screen patented prints from, again, Mass Drop. Uh, they were gaming related prints. I think that was really cool. Another IKEA chair. And a look at his battle station at night. Watching some Linus. But we could change that up real quick, make him watch an episode of Room Tour Project. But and overall, I'm really liking this setup. And now we have a really nice triple monitor setup with the overhead TV mounted very nicely on the left hand side of the room. Uh, virtually no cables anywhere, I'm loving it. That is a 32 inch flat screen TV so he can console game on if he pleases. He has the Xbox One, also the Xbox 360 and his entertainment console uh, to go along with other audio equipment. And when he wants to PC game, he can this very nice setup here. Those are HP 23BW monitors, uh, very thin bezels, I'm really really liking it. 
a JBL subwoofer to go along with his JBL speakers and sound system, the Razer Black Widow Chrome Edition keyboard, great for LED lights, you can see he also has the uh, LED light changer remote over there, very popular microphone, the Blue Snowball, and the Beats headphones. I never make suggestions, but I highly suggest getting an awesome pair of headphones to go along with your awesome setup, man. Overall, I'm really digging it. Boom! How's it going, guys? Zach Cox here. I have no clue what that was. I just messed up my bed, though. And today I got for you my summer 2015 gaming setup. But without further ado, let's go ahead and get started with the video. So, first off, here's a little panorama of everything that I'm working with. Over here, we've got one of the coolest features in my gaming setup. And this is just this uh, video game novelty promo item area, whatever you want to call it. It doesn't have a name. But up here, I've got my posters that I have covered many, many different times on the channel. I got a mount up on foam core here, and these were custom made. You can't find these or buy them anywhere else on the web, so that's really cool. Three favorite GTA games, as well as just that one that nobody's ever played or nobody plays, but it still has a cool cover art. So, uh, I've got Super Mario right here too, just some really cool actual uh, like pictures and posters, and I know this is gonna bother some of you guys in your OCD meter, is uh, probably going off the charts, but this thing is not like lined up with the posters. You can see the shelf is pushed over more. And that's due to like this, because the house is, I'm in is so old. It's got like an old gas stove line there. It's in the ground, so that sucks. There's my VidCon pass. And actually down here, I've got some Xbox games that I haven't played since like September 2013, as well as I've got just a little Super Mario area. My first two ever games that I ever played in my life as well as over here we've got some Grand Theft Auto games uh, some promo items just some rare things friends and Rockstar sent me so that's really cool I actually own every single unopened PS2 PlayStation GTA game in the original packaging except for the original GTA games of course I need to get those but uh, down here last but not least I actually have my Nazi zombie perk bottle collection because I am a really big fan we probably can't get it to focus I need to get up I'm laying in the floor right now but I'm a really big fan of zombies and Treyarch zombies, so uh, that's why these are sitting right here. And here we go. And this is where I make all my videos, all my content production is done. And I've got some LEDs there, and I can never get them to actually like sync up right, so the colors are always off. But it looks really beautiful at night. I don't have too much lighting going on in here. So if we turn it back on here, I've got just a 50 inch Vizio smart TV here. This thing is really nice. And you can probably see me in the shadow. But uh, over here, we've got a triple monitor setup, which looks really nice as well. That's one thing that's changed since my last setup video. Uh, it's just easier having three monitors to edit videos. You can have something open over here. You can have Skype, YouTube, Twitter, something open over there, and then just something in the middle. So uh, that's very awesome. And you guys ask me all the time, what kind of mic do I have? I've got a blue Yeti with a blue pop filter on the blue radius, and I need to move it over here. And this thing is really nice, the quality is amazing. The mic though, it just like, it's an awkward mic to have and try and sit down and talk into because of what it's shaped like. I'm only kidding there, but it's just a really awkward mic to actually move around. So that kind of sucks. And then I'm also a fan of Razer products. We got the Kraken headphones, uh, the keyboard, the mouse and the mouse pad. Down here, I'm gonna show you guys my Xbox One. It's the white version, and honestly, I don't really play it too much. I've been more of a PC gamer lately, and the rare instances that I do play video games and just sit down and have a cool session like old times. And then here is my brand new PC I built back in March. This thing is very nice. It is running on an Intel i5-4690K processor, as well as it has a GTX 970 graphics card and also 16 gigs of RAM in it. So that's just like the basic specs and it runs perfect, runs really smooth. Over here is a little fan controller and this thing can run pretty much any game on ultra settings. And also, you guys can probably tell, it's my really crooked hole I cut in the wall to put the wires behind the TV uh, and run them down through here. So that's, that's pretty embarrassing, but I, I like to keep things organized and clean in my setup. That's one thing I'm really proud of. And then last but not least, we got my office chair, which sucks. I really need to get a new one because this thing is all old, outdated, and it's like holding my setup back from just being completely awesome. And with that said, I believe that's just about it for the setup. 
All right, guys, that's going to do it for episode 16 now of Room Tour Project. Thank you to Zach for showing off your gaming setup. And like I said earlier, if you guys like GTA Vive videos, he's got you covered. He has a ton of them, so definitely check out his YouTube channel. If you have any questions, definitely comment down below, or you can hit me up and follow me on Twitter, at RandomFrankP. And if you want to submit your setup to be possibly on an episode in the future, you know the drill. Email rtpsubmission at gmail.com. Email me just one quality photo, and I'll try to get back to you in a timely manner. If you like the video, guys, definitely please give it a thumbs up to show your support. And if you haven't already, definitely hit subscribe. I've done a ton of tech videos and gaming setup videos in the past, and I've, that's not going to stop anytime soon. So, hope you enjoyed episode 16. I'm Random Frank P. Have a good day. Hey everybody, I'm Random Frank P, and welcome back to episode 16. All right.